Ace Perko here with QRT News, and we're here in Broward County, Florida, the home of 33 of the nation's top 50 oxycodone dispensers. Now, oxycodone is one of the most detrimental substances in the nation and goes by the brand name Oxycontin. Doctors here in Florida prescribe oxycodone five times more than the national average. Oxycontin, produced by Purdue Pharma, is ruining lives. And the problem is, it's being obtained legally. 11 Floridians die every day from pill overdose. And while I can hit you with facts all day, it's easier to see an addict firsthand. Excuse me, sir. Are you an Oxycontin addict? Yes, I am. Oh, fantastic. We're doing a documentary on the effects of Oxycontin and its addictive tendencies. Do you have a minute for a few questions? Sure. Awesome. Okay, so is it difficult to find Oxycontin here in Florida? Is a dispenser hard to find? Is it hard to make a meetup with a dealer? Uh, no. Since Florida is the Oxycontin supplier in the country, all you need to do is set up an appointment with a doctor who's basically a drug dealer with a degree. Hmm. Interesting. Now, do you need any sort of complicated forms or anything like that? All you need is an MRI showing you have some pain. That's absurd. So this super highly addictive drug is just given away easily for something like that? I can show you. You can show us? Oh, this is an exclusive interview, guys. Folks, we're getting an exclusive look here. This man is about to show us how easy it is to get our hands on Oxycontin or any other variety of prescription narcotics, such as Xanax or Percocets. Hi, yeah, I was wondering if I could see a doctor today for my hip pain. Yes. Okay, thank you. Bye. Now we just need to go to the clinic and show them my MRI. Let's go. Wow, can you believe it? Just like that, they're off. Should be off, should be back soon with results. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes now. They should be back soon. All right, everything is in order. We just need to take a look at your MRI. Okay. All right, here's 100 tens. Awesome, thank you. Bye. Bye. Just like that. So that didn't even take like half an hour. And you came out with all that? Yeah, 100 tens. Now, what exactly does that mean? 100 pills of 10 milligrams each of Oxycontin. <sighs> That's a lot of Oxycontin. So on a normal day, normal basis, how long is it gonna take you to go through all that? The whole thing will probably take me about a month. At my worst, it'll take about 30 milligrams a day. This is incredible. He gets to fuel his addiction. The dispenser gets paid handsomely. Purdue Pharma gets paid handsomely, and it's all done legally, no questions asked. Good evening. I'm here with Greg Stumbo, Attorney General back in 2007 for the state of Kentucky. Now, Greg Stumbo here filed Kentucky's first lawsuit against Purdue Pharma. Good evening, Greg. Good evening. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Glad to be here. All right, Greg, so can you walk us through that day back in 2007 when you filed the first lawsuit against, against Purdue Pharma? Well, when I was in the forest, the general attorney's office, I was appalled by the egregious mis misconducts of Purdue Pharma. As a result of the company's attempts to con customers about this powerful painkiller, unsuspecting people are being exposed to the risk of severe and disabling addiction. Many went to their physicians for pain relief, but that then found themselves saddled with drug addiction, facing lifelong consequences and adverse medical conditions. This drug is too powerful for these conditions. I wouldn't even give this stuff to someone with an amputated leg. Wow, that's strong stuff, Greg. Uh, can you walk us through the outcome of that lawsuit? Well, we've had two notable lawsuits against the crooks at Purdue Pharma, one in 2007 and one in 2015. Both have had positive outcomes. We received compensation for state and national governments, but we're looking to stop the rampant abuse of this drug and monetary compensation without any other restrictions on the drug have been a major problem. Now, there has been some restriction on the actual use of the drug, has there not? Yes, but as you can see down in Broward County, it doesn't do much at all. People are still abusing and Purdue can still dispense it in bulk. Problem is, it's easier to go after the small time dealers on the streets who get them from clinics and sell them illegally than to go after the industry or the clinics. 
because it's illegal. Mm. Wow, okay. Thank you very much for your time, Greg. Thank you for having me. So the problem is, action has been taken. Attorney generals such as Jack Conway and Greg Stumbo have taken lawsuits all the way to the federal level. But lawsuits do little for the greater good of the people. Even the FDA and CDC have passed laws. But companies such as Purdue Pharma can maneuver their way right around them. Real change in action needs to take place against the actual restriction and consumption of the drug for there to be real change. This has been Ace Perco, QRT News. Back to you, Jimmy.